Hello, you guys. I'm bringing you this story that I should have brought to you last week, but I'm a little bit behind on everything. The background is nature again. It's raining. It seems every time I start to do a video, it's raining, but you guys know that I love the rain. Before I continue into this story, I did a video about a murderer who was a transgendered woman. And I started off the video referring to him as a him. And then he would actually go under the knife and get the surgery. So then I referred to him as a her and somebody had left a message that they stopped in the video, though it was interesting, but being that I changed you know, the pronouns from him to her, that that, that, that uh, person that was watching it wasn't interested in it, in it anymore. Now, the reason why I did that was because I didn't want anyone that was following the story to be confused because I did a little background on the murderer when he was physically a full male. And then he did the sex change where he was now, I guess, physically a female. And I know people feel a certain way about that. And I get it. Trust and believe. I get it. But however, in this story here, I will be referring to... Christian Williamson out of Lawrence, South Carolina. I read an article or several articles that she wanted to be referred to as Jacob. And that she was a transgendered, they say teenager, but a transgendered male. Christian McKenna Page Williamson is her name. She was 18 years old. So I'm going to use Jacob. It's just like calling a 500 pound man tiny. If that's what he wants me to do, I'm going to do it. It's not a big deal to me. So here we go. So Jacob had gone missing around June 30th, 2023. Now though Jacob's mother says that she is very close with Jacob. For some reason, they hadn't kept in contact for about a month and a half, and Jacob went to stay with friends of the family. So I guess the mother probably felt a little bit at ease that you know her child wasn't just around here wandering around. She was actually with you know friends of the family. Unfortunately, this disappearance would turn into a murder, and Jacob's body was found on Tuesday, July 4th. It was about 15 to 20 feet off the main road in a rural area. Through cell phone pings that was used by Jacob's phone, they were able to relocate her body, and it was believed that she was at a home in Monroe, North Carolina. Now, two suspects were arrested in connection with her disappearance that was now murder. Joshua Newton, 25 years old, and his girlfriend, Victoria Smith, 22 years old. Now, Joshua Newton, he would meet Jacob online, and they were pretty much socializing with each other online for about a month when he would drive down from Monroe to her job, where I read the co-workers had witnessed her getting inside his vehicle. So he would drive Jacob 105.9 miles, excuse me, 105.9 miles, two hours and 10 minutes away from South Carolina, two hours drove her back to Monroe, North Carolina. And I've been looking. There was absolutely no motives of why this couple killed this person at all. And so I was thinking, I was looking, I was looking. A few things are really 
mentioned in this story other than Kirsten Williamson, or they say a transgendered male, you know, is dead due to two couples arrested on murder. And in some of the pictures, Jacob looks like Kirsten. And she's presenting herself as a female. In others, maybe a little bit more androgynous, like, but other than that, um, hey, she said she, well, excuse me, he said he's going by Jacob now. So my question I would have loved to know was on this profile or dating app, however they met, did Kirsten use Kirsten or did Kirsten use Jacob? And... Did, did Joshua, did Joshua get there or go pick this person up as Kirsten or Jacob? I mean, it, it's, it's something that I'd like to know. Not saying that that is a reason why, why Jacob should have been murdered. That's no reason at all, but it's. It's one to know. So in this situation, Joshua can't say, oh, I thought I was going to pick up a man. And it turned out it was a female. He can't say that because he already has a girlfriend. Because you know how some situations they'll say they thought that this trans woman, but didn't say that they were a trans woman, said they was 100% female or was presenting themselves as a female. And then later on, they would find out that it was a male. And then you know how they end up murdering that person. But in this situation, you know, Joshua had a girlfriend. So was Jacob presenting herself, his self as Jacob or, or Kirsten? That's just something I was kind of thinking about, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because like I said, Joshua has a girlfriend. And not to be on the totally X-rated side of things, but I'll try to clean it up a bit. Was this all supposed to be like a, um, a threesome? I mean, it happens. It's normal. It's not a big deal. It happens. And if maybe Jacob was now bisexual, I don't know. I do know that it's really messed up that Kirsten Jacob is is not here dead because of this couple. And they're all young, 25, 22, 18. I mean, all very young. And it's sad. And I, I read that the mother is, of course, having a hard time with this because I'm pretty sure she never thought in a million years that you know, this would happen. So I honestly think more of a confusement of sexuality here. I think this is more just a an online predator thing, a horrible crime. That's, that's what I think so far. I mean, of course, the girlfriend had to know. I mean, you're traveling back with Jacob. 105.9 miles away, over two hours, you're driving back with this person. Where are you bringing this person? Back to where you guys live. So just just a sad story, you know. I mean, I would love to have known what really motivated all this to even go down. But unfortunately, this, this young person is deceased and I believe I read cremated and brought back to her mom so it's sad very sad my condolences to Kirsten Williamson's family and most definitely justice for Kirsten justice for Jacob thank you